Alright, I hope this is not a little bit annoying, but I have a serious addiction to ice. Um. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is Christina. A.K.A. the Cherokee Gypsy, and I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. I'm so sorry that it's nighttime. Well, sorry, ladies and gents. I'm so sorry that it's late at night, but it might be morning time for some of y'all. But I know this is so annoying. I apologize, but that's just me, though. I want y'all to see that. Um. Hello, let me start off again. So, my name is Christina, aka the Cherokee Gypsy, and I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. How is all my babies doing? Um, it has been, uh, I don't know, maybe like five days. Michael's asleep on the couch. I'm trying not to talk as loud as I usually do, just because I don't want to sound like I'm freaking yelling. Plus, for any of y'all that are watching this with your earphones in, I don't want to hurt y'all's ears because I'm naturally loud. <laughs> um, so yeah, hello everybody. I have some new subbies to my channel. We have finally hit 900 subscribers. Um, I couldn't be more thankful or more happy to have such a lovely community of subscribers and friends. I've met some of the most awesome people here on YouTube and I couldn't be happier. Um, it's like, I feel amazing. When I hit that 900 mark, it just, it made me feel great because it lets me know that you know, hard work and earning stuff fair and square is awesome. Um, it makes you feel good about yourself. And for the fact that I do not edit nothing, I upload straight from my laptop. And the fact that people dig that of me being myself is a, a beautiful thing. So it is uh, November 9th. And for all of y'all who have been here since day one, or a lot of y'all since I started my giveaway, um, this is for my 500 subscriber giveaway that I started. Um, Gleam, I actually just checked tonight and I have 255 entries into my giveaway. And I know I was supposed to pick a winner tonight, but there is a couple of hours left. So I'm going to wait until tomorrow to uh, pick a winner for my 500 subby giveaway. Um, I wish I could give y'all all something because all y'all deserve it. Um, seriously, every single one of y'all deserve it. And I don't forget about none of y'all. I love each and every one of you all. Um, but I will be letting Gleam pick the winner, and, uh, I hope that whoever wins enjoys what you get, because I have taken, like, three months to accumulate different stuff to put in your giveaway present. Um, so tomorrow, um, is Friday, November 10th, and I will actually be picking a winner tomorrow, and I will be doing a video and announcing who the giveaway winner is. Um, but tonight, I actually wanted to just talk and catch up with y'all a little bit. Um, I don't want this to be no 30 minute video, because I genuinely want everybody to watch this, um, because, I have something exciting to show y'all, and it's exciting to finally reach 900. Um, I started uh, my channel last year, and December will be a year that I started my channel a year ago, and um, I've met some of the most awesome people on here. I couldn't be prouder to have the community of subbies that I do have. Um, let's talk about where we're at. Uh, we were actually in my bedroom. Uh, mine and Michael's room. I know y'all are thinking, what kind of... I know y'all usually, like, when I do my videos, it's right there by the sink. Like, when I'm doing, like, face mask and stuff. But, uh, look at all that stuff in the background. Like, yes, yes, I have a serious problem. And then look up there. Perfume collection like like no other. Um, Y'all see this mirror in the background? Y'all see Shady Lane? Uh, there's a story behind that. I have a picture of Marilyn back there. Um, but that is for another day. Um, gosh, I wish I had a chair, but I guess we'll make it work like this. Oh, I hear Michael moving around in there. Hey, honey. Um, 
So yeah, so let's go ahead and get started since I've been blabbering for five minutes. So tomorrow I will be picking my giveaway winner for my 500 subby. So yay, I'm so excited. Um, I actually want to give away from Elizabeth and I'm actually waiting on that as we speak. I'm so excited. I watched her uh, pick the winner on Gleam and it said, boom, Cherokee Gypsy. And I was like, yeah. So, um, I cannot wait to do an unboxing with y'all. Oh my gosh, here we go with the light thing again. Um, with y'all and promote her channel, uh, since I, I don't know what I won. So, it's a mystery what I won. So, I'm really excited about that. Shout out to you, Elizabeth. Um, and I just want to give a special shout out to my friend Jenny Rich. Hi, baby. Um, Brittany Parks. Um, Mary Had a Little Glam, Chelsea, Shannon, Kat, everybody, uh, Tiffany, everybody who's genuinely there on all my videos, like I try to be on y'all's too, um, and da -da 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 -da. so since we, <laughs> sorry I got sidetracked for a minute, um, since we are at 900 now, uh, y'all know the drill, every time that I get a um, 100 new subbies, Michael buys me a new eyeshadow palette. So, without further ado, sorry I'm moving the dang screen around. I just, I'm trying to get the best lighting. I'm trying to be comfortable. Y'all can see my little collection of all my stuff in the background. Um, but this mirror, like I was saying, uh, this mirror right here, Michael actually installs windows and doors and cuts glass for a living. So, um, he actually cut that mirror for me for my vanity. Um, what sucks about it is that the bed is in here with my vanity because the bed's right here. Because, you know, being in a camper, everything is, you know, all together, so it's more convenient for you, but, um, he cut this mirror for me, because I was going to have this mirror in my vanity once I had it set up, but I have so much crap, as you can tell, it's ridiculous, y'all, I'm seriously a product hoarder, um, I am excited, because I have something I want to show y'all. Y'all know I get sidetracked. If you've been here since day one, you know how I do. Um, I know all my lovely friends are watching me too. And it is just incredible to have so much support. Um, people in real life and people that I've never met. Um, so when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm just letting y'all know. Um, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be getting an Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to be giving that away to somebody because I love that palette so much, and I think everybody should experience what a lovely palette it is. Now, I'm sure a lot of you already have that palette, but there's a lot of subbies of mine that don't have that palette, so if you're not interested in that giveaway, that is perfectly fine, but I feel like everybody deserves a chance to use that wonderful palette, so... When we get to a thousand, y'all, that's what it's going to be. So, I cannot wait to see who the winner is tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, but without further ado, let me show y'all what Michael got me today. So, I got off work. And Michael's like, well, babe, since you made it to 900 subscribers, he says, you know the drill. Um, he said, what eyeshadow palette you want, which Michael already knew what eyeshadow palette I wanted. And... I got it at Ulta. So can any of y'all guess? <sighs> I wanted this palette as soon as I seen it. Um, there was no questions. I don't let anybody, any guru, any beauty blogger, any influencer, nobody um, determine my opinions on any products. I make my own decisions uh, with what I like. Um, I'm, not, I'm just not a follower. I'm, I've always been a leader and I like to embrace other women, bring them up. Um, I don't like to follow. Um, I just want to be inspirational to each and every one of you. So, I'm going to show y'all which eyeshadow palette, thanks to my lovely hubby, Michael. He got it for me. And it is the limited edition. <laughs> it is the limited edition Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Y'all, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure y'all have seen tutorials. I've sh I'm sure y'all have seen all kinds of um, reviews and what it looks like and swatches and all that. But I wanted this palette as soon as I seen it. And it's limited edition, so it's not going to be here for a long time. So, thanks to my baby, 
I, I got the prison palette today, and I cannot be more excited, which this weekend, um, I hope y'all are ready for this, because I'm actually going to be doing a look with this palette. I promise, okay, I'm going to be doing a look with this palette, but what I've got to learn um, when doing my videos is to not do a full face because that'd be like 45 minutes long um maybe like get all my foundation bronzer contour all that stuff done and then do the eyeshadows and the eyeliner and the mascara with y'all and the lips and blush um and highlighter what do y'all think comment below um but i will be doing a look on this palette this weekend so i hope y'all are ready for that i am i know i looked stupid when i did that but so let's go ahead and open this baby. Oh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's actually got the fuzzy, the fuzzy felt uh, tip, just just like the uh, modern Renaissance and the subculture. I do not own the subculture, and I do not intend to purchase the subculture. Although I do like to get um sets. Um, I'm just I just don't want to take the chance in getting a bad palette, but this prison palette right here, y'all, it's stunning. So let's go ahead and open this together, which I'm sure y'all have already seen, but still, it's me, and I would like to show y'all for the ones that haven't. So here we go. Oh my goodness, just look at that. I am just, when I seen the color spectrum on this palette... I was, I was shook. I mean, and I hate to use that word like everybody else, but the colors in this palette is absolutely stunning. This is their Holiday Prism Collection Eyeshadow Palette, and the shades are absolutely gorgeous. And it also, it comes with the pretty Anastasia Beverly Hills Mirror. And it comes with the double-ended uh, blending brush like my, all their palettes do. Um, I cannot wait to use. I love their little brushes. I, th I like their brushes. I ain't never had an issue with them. So, it's velvet. It's black and gold. It's freaking gorgeous. Um, look at that shade. Well, well, let's just talk about that shade. That shade is called Sphere, and it is like this neon yellow, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Let's just go ahead and swatch it. Ooh. Look at that. Yes! Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It is so pretty. I I'm just, Michael, when he, when I first opened the palette up, Michael was like, ooh, look at that shade, talking about Sphere, and I agree with him. Oh, oh, it hurts to sit on my knees. Oh, 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 oh. So, I'm trying, I don't want the lighting to be, like, really messed up, but maybe if I move it up like this, I just find this palette, when I seen the color spectrum in it, I knew right away that I wanted it. Um, and out of all eyeshadow palettes, this is the one I chose. I feel like y'all just cannot, oh, oh, sorry. I feel like y'all just cannot see the true beauty in this palette. Okay, so that sphere color, which is like that neon yellow color, it is just, I, I'm just, I'm shook. I love it so much. Okay, what about here? So, can y'all see that better? Oh, my gosh. So, what's y'all's favorite shade? Do any of y'all own this Prism palette? Um, I personally like... Well, I personally like them all, but the ones that stick out to me the most is probably Dimension um, Throne, which is like this emerald green metallic shade. Um... Osiris, which is like this blue metallic shade with like gold specks in it. Oh, Eternal reminds me of uh, the shade Scorched in the Naked Heat palette. Um, we have, so I'll just name the shades off to y'all. So we have Lucid, Eden, Unity, Sphinx, Osiris, Sphere, Obsidian, Dimension, Parallel, P, 
pyramid, throne, Saturn, eternal, and lore. So, I feel like lore, crap, I feel like lore and unity, these two matte shades, I feel like these are perfect uh, transition shades. And I feel like Saturn could be a good, sorry, I feel like Saturn could be a good transition shade too. Um, but that throne shade, I'm just a sucker for. It is absolutely stunning. Let's go ahead and swatch that throne. Ooh, and they're like super buttery and there's not fallout. Look at that. So, let me... Yes! Oh my goodness! I know the lighting, y'all. I apologize for the lighting, but look at that. I mean, it is absolutely... And it is so buttery, like... You can definitely tell, look at that, not streaky at all, just perfect, you know. They really took their time on uh, this palette, unlike the subculture. Oh, I'm getting eyeshadow all over my pants. But unlike the subculture, um, you can definitely most tell that this is nothing like the subculture. It actually reminds me of the, uh, the modern renaissance shadows. Um, they're super buttery, they're super pigmented, but when, like, you rub your finger in them, fallout does not get all over the place, and I just feel like this laptop just does not do any justice for this palette. Um, their obsidian, that black shade, I mean, they're all beautiful. I really like Lucid, too. Lucid is like that white... It's got like a white, I don't know, like a platinum. It, it's just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, like a highlight, uh, highlighting your brow bone or, you know, whatever. So, I'm going to, what color should I use? Like, when I do my look this weekend, I want y'all to tell me the, the shades that I should use. So, here we go. Here it is up close. I want y'all to tell me what shade y'all want me to use. I'm really wanting to use that throne shade right there. Oh, by the way, y'all see my nails? Those are those polish strips that you can get from Walmart. Um, it lasts a lot longer than uh, nail polish. Sorry about that hangnail right there. Yeah, babe. Yeah, babe. Where's my scissors? They're, in, they're up in the cabinet. Oh. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I want to use that uh, shade... Osiris too, that blue metallic. I feel like that's really a beautiful, it's got like pink specks of like glitter in it. You can tell that they most definitely took their time with this palette. Oh, look at that. I, they, these uh, shades are a lot better than the subculture for the ones that I actually swatched at Ulta. So, yeah, I had to get that prism palette. Um, I am not like everybody else. Like, when creating looks, like, I like to use, um, I like to use the, the shades that nobody else likes to use. You know what I'm saying? Um, use it like most people would just use, you know, the, the neutrals in here. And me, I want to use that, the throne, Osiris, that sphere. Michael wants me to use that uh neon yellow sphere which i do too <laughs> i i'm just really excited to play with this palette and i'm so glad that my baby got it for me um so shout out to my hubby i love you so much thank you very much for spoiling me and getting mama that prison palette I wanted to grab it before the hot before they took it off the shelves because it is limited edition. So if you do want this palette, I would I would run and go get it um, just because I actually had to call at work and get them to uh, put it on hold for me because they only had like one or two left. So um, 
And then by the time that I got there to get it, they only had one left. And that was the one that I put on hold. So they're going quick and it's worth it, ladies. I cannot wait to play with the shades. They seem like they, I mean, I haven't used them on my eyes yet, but they seem to be a lot more blendable like the modern renaissance. That subculture, I'm just, now I'm not knocking it because I don't own it, but I choose not to own it. I could own it if I wanted it, but I, I'm not into it. Um, I also want that Tarte Toasted Palette, so I will be getting that one soon. I want the Kat Von D Saint and Center, but I just have so many eyeshadow palettes, but can a girl ever have enough? <laughs> but anyway, so with my purchase um, of the Prism Palette, I actually got two little gifts. Um, and one, it is too freaking cute. I love little minis of products. They are so freaking adorable. So the first I got was a little mini Brow Wiz pencil in the shade Soft Brown, which I don't really know. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I don't really know how... Well, I guess I could use it. Well, I guess I could use it. It, it seems like it's uh, working pretty good. So I've never seen a little miniature Brow Wiz pencil, and I think that is just too cute. It's a, It don't have a spoolie on it, but that's all right because I use the original Brow Wiz, and I have the full size. Um, and also, um, recently I told you on one of my last videos that I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. I actually have the full size uh, lip gloss in metallic rose and I love it so much. I, like I said, I don't like liquid lips. Um, they're just not for my kind of lips. They're, it gets dry and flaky and I just don't like it at all. Um, so I prefer lip glosses over liquid lips. Oh, oh my knees, I'm getting old. But I got a mini of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade um, Kristen. And y'all, it's probably my new favorite. Like, I, once this is gone, I'm probably going to... This is probably my new favorite lip gloss. Let me put some on real quick. And uh, I'll show y'all what it looks like on me. The thing about Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses is they are pigmented. They're really opaque, especially if you get like, you know, the less metallic shades. And they smell like vanilla. They smell like vanilla, and uh, they just glide on. Like, I'm just doing this real quick, just to show y'all. How pretty this shade really is. Like, this is probably my new favorite lip gloss. So, I was looking at this shade. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That is so pretty. Yes. That is absolutely stunning. It looks good on my skin tone. Um, but... I actually was looking at that shade, uh, looking at this shade in Ulta, but I chose to uh, get the metallic rose that one time. But I'm so glad that I've got the mini because now when I run out of the mini, I will be purchasing the full size of this. Um, and like I said, it's the shade Kristen. It's beautiful. It is a, it is a, um, it's not a pink. It's more of like a peachy brownie nude I don't yeah it's more like a peachy brownie nude but it like 
flatters my skin tone, so I really, really like it. Oh my gosh, we're at 25 minutes. Um, but I wanted to show y'all those lip glosses, so if you're not a fan of uh, liquid lips, I would definitely uh, suggest the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, lip glosses. They smell like vanilla. They're not sticky. Um, now, your hair will get caught in them, of course, if the wind's blowing, but they're not sticky like they don't make your lips stick together, at least not mine anyway. Um, they're really comfortable on, and they give you a beautiful shine. And they actually last. Um, not like a liquid lip or nothing, but they don't flake off, and they don't look patchy and ugly when it wears off like liquid lips do. Ugh, I just cannot stand that. So, yeah, I got those two gifts. Uh, well, Michael, for purchasing the palette for me, I got those two free gifts. And now I earn 200 points because I'm platinum at Ulta. So now I get $6 off my next purchase. Yay! So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think I should get at Ulta next time. Um, or if there's a product y'all want me to try out on Test It Out Sunday. I actually have a product uh, this Sunday that I will be testing out on my channel channel that I received in exchange for my review and I cannot wait to try it out with y'all. It is a new product on the market and I'm kind of excited to use it because I've never used one before but I can't tell y'all what it is yet. So anyway, sorry this wasn't supposed to be 30 minutes long but it is anyways. To all the ones who've watched this to the end, y'all are the real MVPs. I love y'all. Um, like I said, I'm picking my giveaway winner tomorrow so y'all please stay tuned. I will be doing a video uh, tomorrow when I get off work. I get off work at 5. Oh my gosh, I work 9 to 5 tomorrow. But at least when I do get off, I'm off for the weekend and I'm all y'all. I'm going to try to upload um, probably a video for Saturday and Sunday. I feel like I need to upload some more content tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So y'all stay tuned. Thank y'all so much for watching and thank y'all so much for your support. We're on our way to a thousand, baby. I love y'all and couldn't do this without y'all. I will never, ever, ever take credit. I give my subbies all the credit. I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.